100 Basic Rules of Cryptography and Secure Programming. Kirchhoff's principle defines that a cryptographic system should be designed to be secure, even if all its details, except for its key, are publicly known. But there aren't too many other rule sets that we can abide by. So here's my 100 basic rules of cryptography and secure programming. First, my top 10. Cryptography is both an art and a science. Number two, cryptography needs to be both theoretical and practical. Without One without the other leaves gaps. Number three, the maths is not actually that difficult. Some logs, some exponents and so on. It's typically the way that researchers talk about it that's the problem. Number four, know your knowledge gaps and plug them. Number five, your university education is unlikely to properly set you up for the serious world of cryptography. Number six, crypto is cryptography and not cryptocurrency. Maybe I should stop here. Such an important classification. Number seven, few methods are perfect. Know the limits of any method you use. Number eight, don't cook your own crypto, exclamation mark. How many times do you have to say this to yourself? Number nine, security by obfuscation never works that well. And number 10, confidentiality, integrity and assurance are different things and require different methods. Don't merge these all into the one thing. Okay, so that's the top 10 out of the way. Let's go through the next 90. <laughs> I appreciate there's not too much of a dialogue here, but hopefully some of these will resonate with you. I won't say the numbers, but we'll just go through them. Digital certificates and PKI, or the public key infrastructure, are two of the least understood areas of cybersecurity. Don't expect many people to understand them. For public key encryption, you encrypt with Alice's public key and she decrypts with her private key. For public key signatures, you sign a hash of the message with your private key and Alice proves with your public key. Your baseline hack is always brute force. Know how many dollars it would cost the NSA to crack it. It will cost others a little bit more but at least you know your baseline. Machine code can reveal your secrets. Make sure you understand your machine code and know that it isn't revealing anything that's sensitive. A hack of one key should not lead to the loss of all previous keys. A key should only exist for the time it was meant to exist for. Use session keys wherever possible and watch out for those long-term keys. Your role is typically to protect the user and not reveal things to the NSA. Sometimes that role might be flipped, but most of the time you're there to protect the user. Listen to experts and be a teacher to others. Be open with your knowledge and don't pretend that you know something that you don't. That's a lesson in most areas of technology. Try to understand the basics of the maths involved, otherwise you're trusting others. Understand entropy and know how to calculate it and prove it with experiments. Run entropy calculations before pushing related code to production. Don't use a method unless it has been peer reviewed and published. Understand the strengths and weaknesses of your methods no method is perfect, but at least know what problems it might cause and try to mitigate against these. Know why you have chosen X over Y and be able to defend the reason to others. The maths may be sound, but humans are typically the main weakness. Everything will work fine until it doesn't. Test for out-of-band conditions as much for good conditions. 
Zero is not your friend in cryptography, so always know what it will do to your system. Don't just catch exceptions, action them. Do not allow progress unless everything checks out okay. Log good things and bad things. Catch good things along with bad things. Monitor your security logs for exceptions and bad operations. Remove debugging code from your production version. Keep up to date with the latest research. Beware of backdoors and methods and code. Side channels are smart ways to reveal ones and zeros and every bit that's discovered reduces the security level by two and makes it much less expensive to crack. Every bit drops the price tag for a crack by a half. The core security of your system is likely to depend on the generation of random oracles or seed values. Make sure these are generated so they do not repeat within a given time and cannot be brute forced by the NSA. If you use real randomization, you should use real randomization. If you can, you should use real randomization and not pseudo randomness. If you generate pseudo randomness, take the randomness from several sources. Continually review your code and get ex external experts to review it. Don't push your code into production unless you've tested it fully. Check the code in your libraries that you use and perhaps don't use them if they're not open source. If you can, use open source libraries. Watch for, out for the version updates on your code and try to log on a given version of your code. Encrypt anything that looks like it's PII or personally identifiable information, both at rest and over the air. Remember that running memory can reveal keys and cryptographic artifacts, so know the risk. Learn a new method every day and don't get stuck with the same old crypto. Quantum computers will happen one day and will disrupt your life, so start thinking about the impact they might have. Revealing your private keys is like giving someone the keys to your castle, so know where they are and restrict access to them. Only give access to private keys to those you trust most to use them properly. Air gap your development environment from your production environment and don't leave private keys and don't let private keys propagate. The best systems use zero trust, no rights to anything unless they can be proven. You will, at time, need to revoke your public keys. Be aware of the processes involved and of the embarrassment it will cause. Educate the board on the importance of good crypto. Encourage your team to take academic study. Get them to reserve a few hours a week for independent study of new methods. Read classic research papers and don't dismiss methods because they are not currently used. Collaborate with an academic team which has complementary skills to your own team. If you lack theoretical knowledge in your team, get experts to come in for a chat. Once a private key is destroyed, any data encrypted with it is also likely to be destroyed. Limit the copies of any secret or private key. If you can, Keep your keys in an HSM or hardware security module. Cryptography in the cloud pushes you to the limits and will often enhance the methods that you use. Back up those secret keys, but make sure they are well wrapped before putting them in a place that others can access. Learn about the garbage collector and how your programs deal with data when running. Learn the coding of the maths and leave the coding of the maths in papers to experts. Don't trust auditors to provide to prove the security of your system. Generally, 
auditors are likely to have little understanding of the methods you use. Get experts to review your methods. Beware of denial of service on your code, such as continual exception handling. Most systems boil down to one thing that defines the overall security. Know what that is. If you're interested in the X method, go and contact the person who created it. You will be surprised how open many researchers are in sharing their ideas. Watch out for those CVE updates like a hawk. It can be a race between you and your adversary. On cloud systems, log everything about your keys. In the cloud, only keys should be used for the purpose they were defined for and don't use them generally. Limit access to keys for services and roles. Reduce the impact of a stolen or lost secret key. Never encrypt large-scale data infrastructures with the same secret key. Try to use envelope encryption. Passwords are dead. Replace them with cryptographic signing methods. Your enemy can be within. Watch out for key stealing and deletion. Tell your instant response team about the difference between losing encrypted data and non-encrypted data. Scan your network for secret or private keys placed in locations where they should not be stored. Know what the, acro know what the acronyms mean and not just what they stand for. Know why we use message authentication codes or MACs. If you need to generate an encryption key from a password or a secret, pick a good KDF key derivation function and know the cost to crack it. Rainbow tables aren't used much anymore, so make sure you use a good salt value. Everything below 72 bits of entropy is likely to be crackable by the NSA, unless a slow method is used for the processing with the key. Nonce or salt values should start at 96 bits. Never use anything less. RC4 has been cracked. Get over it. Stream, stream ciphers can often be broken. Make sure you never use your salt value. DES and 3DES are mainly uncracked, but DES only uses a 56-bit key, so never use it. Compared with ECC, RSA requires a good deal of processing and has larger key sizes, but it's still great. ECDSA suffers from nonce reuse attacks. For digital signatures, you should never delete you should delete the nonce value after the signature has been created. But for symmetric key and hashing, you always need to store it. In ECC, the public key is a point on the elliptic curve. For SEPT256K1, as used in Ethereum and Bitcoin, we have a 256-bit key and a 512-bit XY point for the public key. A 04 in the public key identifies an uncompressed public key XY, and a 0 or a 3, 02 or a 03 are compressed versions and only have the X coordinates and whether the Y coordinate is odd or even. Consider writing papers. It is a great way to develop your writing and abstraction skills. Don't just sit back with the status quo. Try to continually improve privacy and security. Have a risk register and maintain it. Don't be shy and don't hide things. Have someone check your code on a regular basis. Remember Moore's law. Computing power is increasing every year. So know that something is safe. Know that something that is safe now might not be in 10 years time. And finally, know how long something needs to be kept secure and secure it for that age and a lot more. And there you go, 100 rules of cryptography. Thank you.